coming to you in the all-powerful name of Jesus. Friend, we have a wonderful program for you today. Good gospel music and singing, powerful testimonies. I know that you're going to be blessed, so stay right there. Don't you dare go away. From studios in Akron, Ohio, welcome to the 1909 Club with your host, Ernest Angley. On today's program, you'll enjoy great gospel music and singing. And you'll hear amazing testimonies and accounts of God's miracle power. Bringing you reports of heaven's miracles that people are receiving all over the world through this Jesus World Outreach Ministry. And now your host for the 1909 Club, Ernest Angley. You are special, and you are special to God. My name is the Reverend Steve Millar, and I'm Associate Minister here at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral, and I'll be your guest host for today. And if you have a need, call in right now. We have prayer partners on duty ready to take your call. And at the end of the program, I'll be taking your request to the throne of grace, expecting God to move for you. And those of you in the Cleveland area, it's toll free, 440-842-8043. And the rest of you outside of Cleveland, 330-929-5010. Now we have a wonderful number for you by the Cathedral Boys. And the title of this song is March All Over Heaven. So listen to this song and get ready to receive whatever you need today. What a wonderful job by the Cathedral Boys, and I pray that when you get to heaven, you'll be able to march all over there and just think all that God has for each one of you up in heaven. What a huge blessing. The question is, are you ready to receive Jesus? Are you ready to have Jesus in your heart? Well, at the end of the program today, I'll give you an opportunity to receive Jesus. And now we have the Holy Soul Trio, and they're going to be singing Victory in Jesus is More Than Just a Song. So listen to this song and just focus on the words and the message in the song, and you're going to be blessed in a great way. Oh, victory in Jesus is more than just a song. It's a Christian's lifestyle and power all day long. Grace to face each morning and peace to rest at night. It's heaven's power to change us when we meet that rapture fly. Victory 
and my Savior is all the help I need. There's healing for my body and power to walk the sea. His peace and love sustains me and keeps me pressing on. His promise of eternal life gives my heart a song. Oh, victory in Jesus is more than just a song. It's a Christian's lifestyle and power all day long. It's grace to face each morning and peace to rest at night. It's heaven's power to change us when we meet that rapture fly. Just a song It's a Christian's lifestyle And power all day long It's grace to face each morning And peace to rest at night It's heaven's power to change us When we meet that rapture flight When Jesus comes to get me That blessed rapture day Victory and my Savior Will sweep this child away It's all because of Jesus my soul is saved and clean Holding to that victory Has kept my life redeemed oh, Victory in Jesus Is more than just a song It's a Christian's lifestyle And power all day long It's grace to face each morning And peace to rest at night It's heaven's power to change us When we meet that rapture flight Yes, that power's gonna change us Ah, uh, yes, I pray that you have the victory today, friend. And now we have Kathy Millar, my wife, with the voice of Foreign Missions, and she has testimonies from around the world. Welcome to the program, Kathy. Well, thank you for having me here today. It's such a pleasure to be able to share these wonderful testimonies with you and with the people watching today. And I want to start off with a letter from a woman who's writing from Zambia, Central Africa. And she writes, Dear Reverend Angley, greetings in Jesus' name. I'm very thankful for the blessed cloth which I received. I had hypertension and a lump on my throat. The blessed cloth came at a time when I was very sick with hypertension. I was very weak with no appetite for solid food. I was only taking fluids. When I pinned the blessed cloth on my blouse, I became sicker, but the following day, the miracle happened. <laughs> the blood pressure came back to normal and it remained stable. Now by faith, I've stopped taking the hypertension drugs and it's stable. Jesus has healed me through you. I'm very grateful. Even the lump on my throat is gone. God be praised. May God continue using you abundantly. God bless you and all your team and family. <laughs> so praise God, she actually got two miracles, one for hypertension and the other for that lump on her throat. And it came all through the blessed cloth, yes. friend. And I'd like to give you an opportunity right now to receive a blessed cloth of your own. Friend, you can call in and we'll send you this blessed cloth for free. Reverend Angie prays over the blessed cloth and there's a great anointing that's in the blessed cloth. And it's all according to the Bible in Acts chapter 19, verses 11 and 12. You know, the Apostle Paul, he had different articles of clothing, you know, napkins and uh, aprons that were just basically pieces of clothing that he wore. And they used these pieces of clothing and people were receiving their miracles and healings. And that's just how it is today. People will use the blessed cloth and be able to receive a great miracle. We have hear it time and time again, and I'm sure later on in the program you'll hear more testimonies about people receiving great miracles through the blessed cloth. So you can call in right now. You see the phone number right on the screen and we'll send you one out for free. Maybe you know a loved one that has a need in their life. Maybe they're sick or afflicted. Well, 
you can order a blessed cloth for them and give them a blessed cloth. And what a huge blessing to watch that miracle take place. So I'd like to encourage you to call in for a blessed cloth. And if you received a miracle through this Jesus ministry, you can also send in your testimony to us by calling in and our prayer partner will write it down and maybe we'll be able to read it on the air today on what God did for you. Well, this next letter is also about the blessed cloth, the use of the blessed cloth. And this woman is writing from Swaziland. And I always love reading letters from Swaziland because that was where I went for my first missionary trip with this Jesus ministry. And it was just such a blessing to be able to go over there and share the gospel with those people. And then later we went to Mozambique, which was very poor and depressed. And there were a lot of children who were homeless and basically just lived on the streets because a lot of their parents had died uh, either in the war or from AIDS. So there were a lot of children who were just, just trying to survive. And um, so this woman is writing from Swaziland and she writes, Dear Reverend Angley, I received the two letters you wrote to me. I have been reading the Word of God daily since I received the first letter. The second letter gave me strength, strength to continue loving the Lord, even in difficult situations. Like Paul and Silas were beaten for the cause of Christ, but never stopped praising the Lord. It came to my mind that they were not alone, but they were with the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in difficult times, I remember that I am not alone, I am with the Holy Spirit as long as I believe in him. Reverend Angley, I have a testimony with my firstborn boy that I wrote you about. After receiving your first letter, we took him for counseling at a Christian institution, and he quickly admitted to drinking alcohol and smoking marijuana. He promised to stop it. When the counselor told us he admitted to being a drug abuser, I looked at my husband who had bullied our son because of the bad things he had done. On the way home, my husband said he felt sorry for the boy since he had ruined his life. I knew it was God's power working on him and for the boy to admit what he had done. I knew it was your prayers that kept us going. I took the plus cloth and tore it into small pieces and inserted it into everyone's pillows at home. <laughs> My son is now better because about misbehaving, excuse me. We took him back to school after dropping out of school for five months and he now goes to church every Sunday. Another miracle from the blessed cloth, I had severe back pain from two previous car accidents. I gave it to my husband to put on my back. The following day, the severe burning pain was gone. Hallelujah. God is making wonders in my family through the blessed cloth. I pray that Almighty God will shower you and your team with blessings. I know he will. God bless you all. Isn't that a wonderful letter? It is. And we hear how people will take the blessed cloth and, and put it maybe in their loved one's pillow or underneath the bed. And, and that person won't even know about it, but it will start affecting them in, in different ways. And we've heard testimonies how that person all of a sudden didn't want to drink or smoke or, you know, there's different things that they were doing bad that that bondage was broken. And it all came through the blessed cloth, mm -hmm. you know, the, the power of prayer. Friend, do never, uh, never underestimate the power of God. God can move for each one of us in great and mighty ways. We just can't limit that power. Amen. Well, this next letter, this is actually an email that we received from the UK. And this man is writing, Dear Reverend Angley, thank you for the blessed message and your fervent prayers. I believe that the God of the Bible is God alone. I humbly thank you for your prayers because the cold, sore eyes and sneezing I've had for over three weeks have stopped since I got your reply the very next day. I drank the blessed cloth water the previous day, so he took the blessed cloth and dipped it in water and then he drank the water. And when I woke up the next day, no more cold and watery eyes and sneezing. The power of prayer is so great. <laughs> 
I've always depended on the blessed cloth in prayer. I found them sufficient for all my needs for a long time. I tried the blessed cloth in prayer before doctors and medicine, and God does a perfect work always. I thank God for ministers like you, true men of God. Your reward will be great because of your love for souls and the sacrifices you make. You are a great soul winner. I know and will trust that though I am going through a tough time, the Lord will deliver me and he will get all the glory, honor, and praise for all eternity. God is so pure and holy, yet he looks upon mankind with so much compassion. God bless you more each day till rapture day. And this person that's writing, he actually, um, I have letters from him from when he lived in India. And now he lives in the UK. And what's so wonderful is because we have our website so readily available, they can get onto the worship center, the website, and email us directly. So it doesn't matter where the person lives in the world, as long as they have access to the internet, they have access to this Jesus ministry through the website and through our online worship center. And it's such a blessing that we have that tool that people can go to for miracles, for healings, for blessings. They can listen to our music. They can access our literature. There's just a wealth of information on our website, including the online Bible college that is available for anyone to take. They don't have to be a minister. They can be a lay person. And it's free for anyone to take these courses. And they are such a blessing. They are. And friend, you know, like Kathy said, it's, it's no charge. So all you need is access to a computer so you can jump on the computer and, and let people know and you can go to the computer and you can take these online courses and you can get a wealth of knowledge. Friend, I'd like you to uh, watch this video on our online worship center and worldwide radio. And God is doing so much and souls are being affected because they can receive salvation through the worship center. What a huge blessing that is. Ernest Angley World Radio is a powerful internet radio that streams God's love and greatness 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't need a traditional radio, just your laptop, tablet, or smartphone. And you can download our free apps from our website at ernestangley.org. When troubles push in on you, then tune into sermons. I accuse Christianity for having ministers that will deny what God has promised us. Songs. I'm going to join the angels band. I'll sing with the angels in glory land. And personal testimonies that build faith and joy. They were drugs of mental addiction, physical addiction. Instantly, Reverend Angley, I was delivered from those devils that bound my life. Praise the Lord. That's good. Also, Go to ernestangley.org and visit the Worship Center and see life-changing miracles. Come on! <laughs> Receive personal prayer from Reverend Angley. There's the healing hands like no other hands. And sign up as an online ministry partner and receive free downloads. Dip your cup in God's river of love and never be the same. Just think, friend, you can watch miracles happen right before your eyes by going to the worship center. And people receive their hearing or their sense of smell, you know, that notable miracle. What a huge blessing that is. So I'd like to encourage everybody to go to our worship center. And maybe you need salvation or you need a miracle. Reverend Angie is right there to pray with you. Maybe you need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's explained on how to receive the Holy Ghost. And just think for the opportunity to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We had someone in Africa testify at one of our American Crusade services how she received the baptism of the Holy Ghost through our worship center, plus the radio station where you're going to hear wonderful testimonies on what God has done for other people, along with wonderful preaching and beautiful, beautiful music. You'll be blessed in a great way, so I'd like to encourage you to go to our worship center. Yes, and I remember the person who testified at our crusade in Cape Town, Africa. And she was just a young woman going to college. And she went on to the worship center. 
and brought up the video on how to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And she tarried until she went through and received that baptism. And I thought, how wonderful that a young person could receive like that through the website. And a lot of young people have access to computers and the internet, so it's a great tool for them to be able to have the opportunity to go to that worship center and be blessed. Well, this next letter is a woman who's writing from Pretoria, South Africa. And she writes, Dear Reverend Angley, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am so happy to write this letter to you. I have joy, peace, and happiness in my heart. I was very sick, but now I am healed. One time, somebody gave me the Power of the Holy Ghost magazine. In that magazine was somebody's, somebody whose legs were healed. That testimony touched me because he was the same as me. I wrote to you asking for a blessed cloth. For 10 years, I was sick. My leg had a hole in it, which was painful day and night. But I am totally healed. No more hole in my leg. <laughs> God gave me a new leg. Praise God. I am helping people, so I am asking for five plus cloths. <laughs> so I just love this letter because she was inspired through a testimony that was written in the Power of the Holy Ghost magazine. And there's so many wonderful testimonies in the magazine. And by reading that testimony of a person who had the same condition, that gave her the faith to believe that God could heal her. And that is why it inspired her to request a blessed cloth. And now she's willing to help others and is requesting more blessed cloths so that she can be a blessing to others and help spread the good news that miracles and healings are real. And you can, if you think about it, she's, you know, she has just such a great testimony that she can show people her leg. You know, it's a notable miracle and people will realize that, wow, she did get her miracle because I'm sure people knew her from before and, and probably saw that, you know, yes. that was what would happen to her leg and how everything changed. When you receive a miracle, it is your responsibility to let others know. And that's what she's doing, letting others know about Jesus and what Jesus did for her. Amen. Well, this next letter is from a pastor, and we get a lot of you know, correspondence from pastors, letters. And this pastor is writing from Kenya, East Africa. And he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, thank you for your anointed letter, which I have received. I'm very thankful for your care and prayers towards my ministry. Last year, I sent you the names of my children because they were not doing well in school. And you sent them blessed cloths, which I pinned under their blankets after prayer. Hallelujah, the Lord did it. My first daughter has improved. She was very dull, and now her headmistress calls her automatic. <laughs> she is now the fastest and most clever girl in my house. <laughs> I know the Lord will continue blessing my other two children also. Thank you very much. The Lord continue blessing you bountifully in all ways. Yours in Christ's service. Well, these are some great testimonies, and God is moving for people all over the world, friend. When you're a part of this Jesus ministry, there's going to be a great reward for you. And now we have the Singing Men's Quartet, and the title of this song is Dip Your Cup. Friend, we all need to dip our cup in the river of life. Just think of that wonderful opportunity when we go to heaven. There's a river flowing from up yonder. It's the sweet, sweet waters from heaven. Dip your cup, dip your cup in the water. What God has given In the sweet, sweet waters from heaven Dip your cup Dip your cup in the river of love Dip your cup Dip your cup in the river Fill it till it till it's overflowing Taking on the love of Jesus Living in his peace and joy Dip your cup Dip your 
God's eternal. Dip your cup. Dip your cup in the river of love. If there's something that you need from Jesus, your trouble oh, with the sweet sweet waters from heaven dip your cup dip your cup in the river of love dip your cup dip your cup in the river fill it fill it till it's overflowing taking, taking on, on the love of Jesus Jesus said, This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. We hold souls in our hands and must not let them slip through into eternity without knowing Jesus, their Savior. With your support, together, we can reach them quickly with the love of Jesus. Share your support at ernestangeley.org or send your help by mail to Ernest Angley Ministries, P.O. Box 1790, Akron, Ohio, 44309 USA. It won't be long until someone in heaven will say, it's because of you I accepted Christ and now have eternal life in paradise. Your share of disappointments The tears you shed are more than I'll ever know You've been betrayed, you've been let down Your blood has been trampled to the ground But you can count on me, Lord I'll take my stand, I'll pay the price And never lose sight of the sacrifice That you paid for me You were always there to hold my hand So I will be here to follow through your plan The choice has been made Cross. It's through your 
power through your grace I'll abide in this heavenly place And the world will see you in me For I will shine your light for all to see And you can count on me, Lord I'll take my stand, I'll pay the price And never lose sight of the sacrifice That you paid for me Take my stand, I'll pay the price And never lose sight of the sacrifice That you paid for me You were always there to hold my hand So I will be here to follow through your plan The choice has been made you all the way yes you can count on me lord i'm going with you all the way and i pray that the lord can count on you today and now we have more testimonies with kathy well, this next letter is a man writing from Malawi, Central Africa. And this gentleman is a bishop in his church. And he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, this morning I had a big attack from the devil of death. My son, who is two years old, was dying. I am 46 years old and have seen so many people dying. And I know what I'm talking about. My wife and I prayed for God's intervention, mercy, and grace and remembered your blessed cloth. As I am writing to you now, the boy is playing and in good shape. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we very much appreciate the many books of faith that your ministry has been sending to our ministry. Please note that we are using all of your printed materials, books, tapes, etc. We are praying for you and we also want you to come again to Malawi. And I love this letter because, you know, we do send out a lot of literature to different churches and so forth, and they're using that literature in their churches. And a lot of times they'll have a library of our books that they'll lend out to the people in their congregation, and then they'll bring the books back and circulate the literature so everyone has a chance to study and, and really learn more about Christ through these books. And of course, all of the literature is just freighted down with the Word of God, with scriptures that they can then go to their Bible and read those scriptures. It's all backed up by the Word of God. And on the mission field, when we're over there in, say, South Africa, we'll take a library to each church that we go to on Sunday. We'll have a team of maybe two or three, and they'll take a library with them, along with Bibles. And we'll take them into the church, and we'll distribute them, and I've seen many times when we go into a church that only, there may be only two or three Bibles in the church and they have to share, they'll huddle around while one of our people preach and they'll have to share that actual, a Bible with maybe four or five people. It's, you know, something special when you can give literature to a child of God who just wants to know more. Well, this is a, this is a book by Reverend Angeli and it's Untying God's Hands. This is a book that we use over on the mission field greatly. So many people don't know that they limit God. And when you limit God, it's hard for him to move for you. Maybe it's because you're, you know, not living right or you're expecting God to move, but you're just not all 100% in there. Well, this book tells you how you know, that you need to untie God's hands. So I want you to watch this video right now, and this video is gonna help you 
and let you know about untying God's hands. And you're going to be blessed, so please watch it at this time. Untying God's Hands With amazing frankness, Reverend Angley deals with many controversial subjects. The ministry of angels, preparation required for the rapture, guidelines for dating, sex, homosexuality, and more. This book gives you the answers you need to be victorious in this end time journey so that God and His promises can become living reality to you. Ah, uh, yes, friend, I can tell you firsthand, when I go into the prisons with my wife and the Cathedral Trio and a couple other people, we'll make sure that we have untying God's hands and the deceit of Lucifer, and we try to get one of these books in each one of the inmates. And we also try to give them a Bible. That's how important this book is. And I'd like to encourage you to get this book at this time. It has 316 pages. It's gift offer B4. It's for a $10 donation. And you can also download it as an ebook for an $8 donation at ernestangely.org. But let this book bless you and let you learn more about how you need to be a yielded vessel in this final hour. This book will bless you in a great way, and I'd like to encourage you to receive the book. And now we're back with more testimonies with my wife, Kathy. Well, this next uh, letter is a woman who's writing from Zambia, Central Africa. And she writes, Dear Reverend Angley, first and foremost, I have great joy in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you for your healing prayers and for sending me the blessed cloth. I am healed in the name of Jesus. I've been sick for one year. When I went to the hospital, I was told by the doctor that it was TB plural inf infusion. I read the Power of the Holy Ghost magazine and the testimonies of many, many people who've been healed through your blessed cloth prayers. My husband and I wrote to you and when we received the blessed cloth, my husband followed your instructions. After some days, the bad pain went away. Now I am healed in the name of Jesus. God bless you for your healing prayers, your daughter in Christ. Isn't that wonderful? It is, and it reminds me of going to the hospital. Um, and when we were over there at the hospital, and we were in the infectious disease ward, there was many people that had TB. And we were able to use the blast cloth. We were able to pray with them. They were able to receive salvation. It's something when you can pray with someone that maybe has AIDS or TB and they're really thinking that their life is almost over. But when they accept Jesus Christ, their life is just beginning. When you accept Jesus Christ and you become born again, you know, you're a new creature in Christ. You're not tying God's hands. You're untying God's hands when you accept Jesus Christ in your heart. Yes, and do you remember that clinic that we went to? It was an infectious control center, and they made us put on surgical masks and other barriers to protect us uh, because there were a lot of airborne diseases. T TB is one of them. And there were other people there with, infected with AIDS. Uh, some of them were on their deathbeds. And we went in, and we were able to minister to those people. and. I believe those patients were shocked that we were there to minister to them because they didn't really have many visitors coming in because it was an infectious center. And um, they were just touched in so many great ways. And we were able to pray with them. I remember the one gentleman you ministered to, he was so frail and thin from dying of AIDS and uh, he had an oxygen mask on. and you were able to lead him to the Lord. And that was just so precious that we had that opportunity to go in and pray with those sick people. We'll take little stuffed animals and um, into the infectious disease ward and, and try to give them you know, a little stuffed animal. And they're so happy to receive it. But some are so sick, they can't even grab the stuffed animal. I mean, it's just, it's heart wrenching. And it, but it's a, help, it's a huge blessing to be able to do the God, God's work because, like my wife said, you know, people really don't go and visit you know, in those sections. Mm -hmm. They just don't want to take the risk themselves or whatever the reason may be. You know, we're blessed 
because God just sends us in wherever he wants to send us. And we just have to be that yielded vessel. And our people are more than willing to go wherever God wants us mm -hmm. to go. Yes, and we go in with no fear. We're not afraid of being infected. And God gives us such a great anointing, love and compassion for these people. And they feel it. They feel the anointing of God that we bring to them and it just breaks them down and they're ready to receive. And it's hard to say how many souls we have won going into the hospitals and the clinics to pray for the people. Well, this next letter is from a pastor who is writing from Togo, West Africa. And he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, I am very happy to hear from you. I pray that God will give you a long life for the work of God that he has chosen you for. God has done a great thing in my life. I was riding my motorcycle and a taxi driver hit me with his car. I was sent to the hospital. There I saw my shoulder. My shoulder bone was broken. I got the treatment and came back home. Wonderfully, I was healed while reading the power of the Holy Ghost magazine titled The Great Gospel Lamps. All the bitterness disappeared and I am totally healed. My request is that God will place me where my enemies will know that I have a mighty God. And the rest of my request is that I need more blessings of God with his riches so I can help the work of God and those who are in need and have troubles. Praise the Lord for his wonderful works that he is doing through you. May God bless you and give you strength to bring lost souls to him. <laughs> so again, this was a pastor that wrote in and God is now gonna use that great miracle that he received for that broken shoulder to help him testify to others in his congregation. And we were talking earlier about libraries that we take over to the mission field. A lot of the ministers use the books and they'll preach out of Reverend Angel's books. And we know that the truth is going forth because they're using the books and there's so many scriptures in each one of Reverend Angie's books. Yes, well, this next letter, it's actually an email that we received and it really demonstrates the wonderful work and power of God that he can break any addiction. And it's not just miracles for the body as far as illness and diseases. Addiction is a, a disease and God can set people free instantly from these diseases of addiction. And this man is writing from Zimbabwe, Africa, and he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, I thought I might express my gratitude for the prayer that you sent me. Since that time, my life has been transformed and I am a new creation. I have not drank or smoked in three months now, and this is the fourth month. My new personality has also been imparted onto my closest friend who has also decided to live for Christ. So he saw the change. <laughs> Thank you very much, Reverend. May God bless you. Isn't that wonderful? It is. And, you know, friend, maybe you're addicted to cigarettes, you know, smoking, or maybe it's alcohol. Whatever you're addicted to, God can break your bondage and set you free. We have two beautiful locations to come to church to. One's in Kaga Falls at 2700 State Road and the other one's in Akron at 1055 Canton Road. Friend, if you need your bondage broken, come to our Friday night miracle service and get ready to receive at 7 p.m. at our Kaga Falls location. We have a wonderful healing line that you can come and receive your deliverance, be set free. And then Saturday is our youth service at 7 p.m. at our Akron location at 1055 Canton Road, Springfield Township. We'll have a male and a female speaker in good gospel music and singing. I know that you're going to be blessed in a great way. And then back to our Kaga Falls location for our Sunday morning worship service at 10 a.m. Then Sunday evening, we're going to have a glorious time in the Lord at 7 p.m. So come and be with us in all the services. And if you do have a chance, please invite people to the services. I know that you'll be blessed and they will be blessed. Well, this next, next person writing is a woman from Pretoria, South Africa, and she sent in an email. And again, we spoke about the worship center earlier and people can actually send in their prayer requests through the worship center. 
But we also get people who call into our 24-7 prayer line as well to receive prayer. This woman writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I would like to first thank you very much for your prayers, your daily prayers. I would also like to thank you for your prayers for the previous prayer request I made. A neighbor of ours was diagnosed with neuropathy and she couldn't walk, but after you prayed for her, her condition improved and now she can walk again. Praise God, yours and the Lord's work. <laughs> So that person stood in the gap for prayer for that neighbor and look how God moved in such a wonderful way. And that's a fantastic miracle. Yes, and friend, if you'd like to stand in the gap for someone, you can call in and our prayer partners are on duty right now and they're more than willing to pray for you. You see the phone number on the screen. Or if you'd like to stand in the gap at the end of the program, you know, I'll give you an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ but I'll also give you an opportunity to stay in the gap for maybe someone that needs a miracle or a healing. And I know that you'll be blessed in a great way. This next letter is from a man writing from Suriname, South America. And he has some wonderful comments about the ministry and how grateful he is that uh, he's been introduced to this ministry. He writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, I greet you in the all-conquering blood name of Jesus. You are his wonderful and humble servant, and I personally thank you for saying yes to the calling of Jesus. You know you have truly been and are being a blessing to people, and I am one of them. Thank you for devoting your life to and for the needs of us growing Christians and for the lost. Thank you for all your prayers for me concerning my spiritual growth. I am seeing many results. I hope you will continue to pray for me. I have truly come to know that we're really in the last and final hour. We therefore must reach as many as possible before it's too late. For the bride, it doesn't matter what she'll have to give up winning the loss for Jesus. I hope and pray for all the best and all the go ye strength for you and your ministry in this final hour. May the good Lord bless and keep you, your friend. And we have so many prayer partners across the globe that are praying for us. And of course, we are praying for them in return. And they will send messages uh, during our Friday night services. They'll let us know that they're praying for our service. And I just think that's wonderful how connected we are to people all over this world who are praying for us and we're praying for them. Yes, and this I, is a good indication. <laughs> yes, and someone told me the other day that um, there was a gentleman from Afghanistan, you know, and he didn't know anything about Christianity and a, a U.S. soldier gave him part of a Bible, just part of the Bible. And he contacted our ministry and wanted to know more about, you know, Jesus. So we're able to tell them, tell him and help him out. Well, Kathy was even talking about, you know, over in... Uh, South America, and we had a crusade over in Suriname and Guyana, South America. And when we were over there, I remember going to, into a hospital. And in this hospital, there was a man that was shot, a young man. And before we even walked into the ward, there was a glass door and it was just shattered. And when we walked in, we talked to the doctors and let them know, you know what we were here for. Our contact person was able to interpret for us. And we prayed with each one of the doctors in a group. And, you know, we're, and it was great. And then we went from patient to patient. But the gentleman that I came to, was he was shot. And, but he, he was the one that smashed that door. And as I'm talking to him, ministering to him, I asked him if he would like to pray, and he gave his heart to the Lord, and after he was done, the doctor was standing right there, and the doctor was shocked. But the next thing that happened was, he looks at the doctor, and he starts apologizing to the doctor for what he did. When you receive Jesus Christ in your heart, there's gonna be a change that comes over you. You're gonna let people know that, Jesus, that you received Jesus, but you're also gonna let them know by your countenance and how you react and how you handle yourself that you have the love of Jesus. And 
people will see the difference in your life. Yeah, that was beautiful. I remember that moment mm -hmm. at that hospital and there was a great change in him. I think everybody was shocked. Well, this next letter is actually an email from an evangelist writing from Livingstone, Zambia. And he writes, it's just a short one. Dear Reverend Angley, I gave your blessed cloth to a woman who had a relative with a serious heart condition. He could not stand or walk. When she used the blessed cloth on him, he started walking. <laughs> Also, a woman had a lot of fluid in her lungs. I gave her your bless cloth, and when the doctor checked her, they found no fluid. I am asking for more bless cloths. Isn't that wonderful? And you know, we believe in good doctors and hospitals, and it's wonderful that you had that opportunity to be able to pray with the staff at that hospital that you mentioned earlier. And they are so receptive. They love to receive prayer, and it's a blessing. Yes, yes. Well, friend, this was a wonderful program. And now we have the singing gospels. And the title of this song is Just Ask Jesus. So whatever your need is today, just ask Jesus and get ready to receive. Have you really been born again? Are you living free from sin? God's drawing you from afar, making all to where you are. Just ask Jesus in your heart, He will give a brand new start. Have you really been, really been, really been born again? Jesus tells us in His Word to let His voice be heard. For us to be His light, shining brightly through the night. Jesus died in our place, covered us with saving grace. On the third day He arose, heaven's power ever flows. Have you really been born again? Are you living free from sin? God's drawing you from afar, making all to where you are. Just ask Jesus in your heart, He will give a brand new start. Have you really been, really been, really been born again? The message in this song will keep you from all wrong As we walk the narrow way, in God's presence we will stay Read the Bible, pray it fast, gives you power that will last Living life to the most with God the Son and Holy Ghost have you really been born again? Are you living free from sin? God's drawing you from afar, making all to where you are. Just as Jesus in your heart, He will give a brand new start. Have you really been, really been, really been born again? Have you really been born again? Are you living free from sin? God's drawing you from afar, making all to where you are. Just as Jesus in your heart, He will give a brand new start. Have you really been, really been, really been born again? Just as Jesus. Just as job by the singing gospels and friend this is the part of the program where I give you an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ into your heart maybe things aren't going your way right now well this is your opportunity to accept Jesus in your heart pray with me now and say oh God save my soul forgive me for my sins but I have come home to serve you the rest of my life. And I believe that the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sins. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Amen. Friend, if you meant that prayer, you have Jesus Christ in your heart. You have the healer. Let's get your miracle for you today. Put your hand against my hand on the television screen 
and this is a point of contact, and let's just pull down heaven together. Lord, Heavenly Father, you know what their need is. Break their bondage and set them free. We curse every sickness, every disease in their body. Heal in the holy blood name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Heal in the holy blood name of Jesus. Amen. Friend, look for every sign of improvement and always give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. I love you, Jesus loves you, and you are special to God. Remember, friend, when you support this Jesus ministry with your prayers and finances, you are helping to take the whole gospel to those in darkness. Thank you for all that you give to help spread God's love to a lost world. Well, till the next time we get together, remember, you are special to God.